Don't forget, LSD has been declared a drug and Nixon a dope. It's <laughs> 1969. The band better start laughing or I'm gonna Blake your clarinet. The Mets won the World Series. Only Americans can do that. Aquarius by the Fifth Element, Sundance Kid. Jimi Hendrix kept missing his show date, so he woke up at 9 a.m. the last day and played for two hours. Dead coming. Now, the revival is based on the 1969 Electric Glide in every aesthetic way. All the modern touches leave you with a bike that resembles the nostalgic era of HD without all the hassle of owning or even finding an original Electric Glide. However, at Barracuda, this bike was gone before it hit the showroom floor, and I was only able to video the PDI at Black Widow with the new owner's permission, so it's not going to be an easy bike to find. And even perusing some of the HD forms, new owners are telling stories on just how fast they had a purchase to make sure that they got the bike. And I had a spiel about what this means for Harley Davidson and the future models, but everyone was coming up to the bike and looking at it, and it was so broken up, I'm just going to do it here. It seems like after the live wire, HD has been hitting really exciting home runs with all these new models. The Electric Glide Standard in 2019, the Road Glide Limited in 2020, the Pan America, which has just been flawlessly reviewed on this site, even new limited releases like the new Snake Venom color. It's been a while since the air of the new release has captured the attention of the critics in such a positive light. This is gonna be one of the bikes you see every once in a while at a bike fest, like once a year or something like that. And there are only 1,500 spread evenly throughout all the Harleys, so its exclusivity alongside with just how good it looks is gonna make this bike highly sought after. I also think we're gonna have a lot of people wanting to buy just the seat to throw on their bagger. So maybe that's the next build theme. Big wheel baggers to fat tire baggers, to the throwback bagger. Instead of seeing rows of lowered baggers with 28 inch front tires, you see builders making modern bikes look like their forefathers from previous decades. Bikes that some of us were around to ride and some of us saw our dads riding. Bikes we saw Elvis and Evil Knievel riding with all the modern technologies Harley has produced. That's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you next time.